Hello, and thank you very much for your purchase from Sacred Whispers. I am absolutely honored and delighted to have you as a customer. Now, one of the feedback I have had from uh, previous customers is that you don't have time to read the instructions, the downloads, and this often prohibits women in moving forward with the Kegel kit. So this video is just a quick introduction as to what you receive and what you need to do. Um, below the video is all the information in text if you wish to read it. Otherwise, this is all you really need to know. So the first thing that you get is your Secret Whispers Kegel kit. Okay, it'll arrive like this. So you're getting this order confirmation email now, so you're ready for when the Kegel kit arrives and all the downloads and everything are attached to this email. So as soon as it comes, you're ready to go and you don't need to be overthinking it. That's the one thing, just please don't overthink it. It is very simple. So you receive your box like this, you open it up. Inside, you will see your weights. Okay, so you remove those. And then underneath, so you take out this black insert and there's another one. And underneath are your instruction sheet, a mini instruction sheet, and the little bags. So you can take these uh, when you go away for the weekend or to your yoga class, Pilates class, to the gym, whatever, but you've got your little bag there. And the little cards designed to go inside so it reminds you of where you are and um, the instructions, etc. So the instructions are this, and it tells you you start off on this weight combination, the light pink and the blue, the 40 gram. So the idea is every two weeks, you move up in the weight combination. So you're changing the, the weights, okay? So you get a light pink, a blue, a gray, and a dark pink. So every two weeks, you're changing the weight combinations of these, okay? So you're gradually and safely challenging your pelvic floor. So as soon as they, they arrive, Take your little balls out of the holder and place the four, I'll hold them all, just the, place the four balls and the holder into a pot of boiling hot water, boil away for three to five minutes so they're sterilized and they're good to go. Dry thoroughly and then either pop them back in your box or into your little bag. So the downloads that you have here first, um, do read through them and print them off so you're ready to go when the kit arrives. So the first download you have is this one and this is the download one the starting stage and the idea of this is to ascertain exactly uh where your pelvic floor strength is now and then monitor it every week so you have a visual way of seeing your progress and this really works for a lot of women so just read the instructions okay that's download one so you print that off and keep that download two is this one the 28 day pelvic floor challenge and the idea of this is, if you can do this for 28 days, you're almost guaranteed to be able to finish the course. And just remember, ladies, it's only 15 minutes a day. That is it for 12 weeks. It's as simple as that. Just get in the habit. You owe it to yourself. Put yourself first. So you just tick it off every day. So keep this somewhere. That will visually remind you. Uh, the third one you print off is this one. And this explains the three different types of kegels. So the three different types are the slow contraction, which is when, so if you imagine holding in wind and way at the same time, it is that area you want to contract. And you want to hold that for as long as you can, up to 10 seconds, and then relax it for five seconds. And then just repeat that 10 times. So that's your fast kegel. Uh, no, that's a slow kegel, sorry. Then the fast one is when you pull up and in quickly for one second, release for a second, do it again, and just do that 10 times. Now, there is a kegel known as the neck, which is basically the same as the fast contraction. So if you have got problems with leakage, especially when you cough or sneeze, as soon as you go to cough or sneeze, pull in and up as quick as you can that pelvic floor. And that is uh, known to work 98% of the time. So it's very effective. It's very good. So you're just strengthening your pelvic floor. Now, I'll just show you this. So this is a nice little, uh, model of your pelvic floor. So that's your pelvic floor there, and it has a very important job to do. It has to hold up your bowel, your bladder, and your uterus. And if this isn't strong, what happens is your organs start to protrude, and they can actually come into your vagina, which is known as a prolapse. So this needs to be kept strong. Just think of it as your lady hammock, a bit like a trampoline. Like that. And if it's not strong, they get the organs get weak. Well, they don't get weak, they fall down. So just bear that in mind that that's the reason you need to keep it strong. 
So when you pop the weights in, they're going to go in and they're going to just sit on top of the pelvic floor. So you've now sterilized them now to get started. So you can decide either to use a lubricant or just water or nothing. It's totally up to you. Most women prefer to use a lubricant. And if you do, you need to use a water-based only lubricant, please, because any other can damage your weights. So this is it here. So you pop them in as you would a tampon. They can't go too far, they can't get lost, but they will come back down to a nice resting place just above your pelvic floor. So pop them in as you would a tampon. Now gravity will want them to fall out. So what happens then is the correct pelvic floor muscles engage to hold them in. And that's the beauty of them. Because even if you've been told how to do a Kegel, which I just explained there, pull in and up as if you're uh, going holding in wind and weight at the same time. Even when women are taught that, at least 50% will not be able to do a correct pelvic floor exercise because they don't know which muscles are really meant to be engaging. So they teach you, pop them in, gravity wants them to fall out. So then the correct muscles engage to hold them in. Now the idea is that you need to be active. Yes, when they're in, your pelvic floor muscles are engaging to hold them in, so it, it's working. But if you want to get the maximum benefit out of this, you need to do some Kegel exercises. Now, if you have an issue where, with mobility and you need to be lying down for them, you need to be doing your Kegel exercise while they're inside. So like I explained, the slow and the fast contraction. So while you're lying on the bed for 15, 20 minutes a day, you just do sets of slow, which are pull in and up, hold up to 10 seconds, release for five seconds and repeat that 10 times and then follow on with that with a series of the fast contractions. It's as simple as that, so no need to overthink it. You're just doing your clenches while you're wearing this, so you're, it's been activated properly. Now, if you do happen to pop them in and they fall out or they start slipping down and you really can't hold them in, and this happens to a lot of women, even women who thought their pelvic floor was fine, uh, women who had no leakage issues, so don't be alarmed. You just need to start off wearing them and doing the Kegel exercises while you're lying on the bed. Give that a few weeks and then start walking around with them. Your pelvic floor should be strong enough then to walk around. So when you're walking around, your pelvic floor muscles are really working to hold that in. But you still need to do your Kegel exercises for the maximum benefit. So when you're walking around, just be consciously thinking, OK, I'm going to do so many sets of the slow. I'm going to follow that on with so many of the fast. Then five minutes later, do another set, but just as long as you're doing them while you're wearing them because you want to get the maximum effect out of these. So that's that. Um, how to clean them? Yeah, simply you remove. So you remove as you would a tampon, just down like that. Take the balls out and just uh, wash with warm soapy water. Make sure it's a soap that's got a good pH balance. Dry them, put them back in your bag or into your box. And then you repeat this every day for 12 weeks. It does seem like a long time, but ladies, it's not. And I do recommend you do it first thing in the morning before the children get up and the world takes over. So just pop them in, do the housework, making breakfast, even cleaning the oven and doing the school run. It's an amazing one. Pop them in. By the time you get the children ready, you're ready to go and do your school run. You can do your exercises while you're walking. Um, there's actually no activity that you can't do wearing them. So yeah, be creative, have fun with it. So for example, myself, I do, I wear mine when I do my yoga class or go for a run, okay? Now, when you finish the 12 week program and you've got an amazing pelvic floor, you need to maintain that, okay? So you find which step you find best. So for me, I go between four, five and six, I sort of, mess it or not mess it around i sort of um adjust it to how i'm feeling and what sort of a run i'm going to be doing will it be a long one or a short one so um you need to maintain the strength so three to four times a week you wear your weights okay it's just like going to the gym for your pelvic floor but you still need to do your kegels manually every day twice a day for the rest of your life and if only we'd all been taught that from the age of 14, we wouldn't have the huge numbers of women with leakage issues, prolapses, needing surgery. It's really as simple as education and knowing you need to do your kegels. So for myself, my campaign is that this education is brought into high school. So girls and boys are taught 
what a pelvic floor is, why it's so important, and how to do a Kegel exercise. And when girls were 2018, they would invest in their own Kegel kit to maintain that strength. So going forward in life, they wouldn't have all the issues we have now. So that's all the information you need to know. And really, just do not overthink it. Just pop it in, little dumbbell for your pelvic floor, do your exercises. If you have any questions, simply reach into the closed Facebook group, which is down below, and ask your questions. If you don't get it answered or it's something more you need to talk about, well, then simply reach out to me personally at um, support at secretwhispers.co.uk and I'll get back to you. Um, well, then more frequently asked questions. Um, how long before I would see an improvement? That is totally up to you, ladies. Um, whatever you put in, you will get out. Um, can you use if you have a prolapse? Yes, most definitely, because the weights actually push all the organs back into the correct place that they should be. So that'll be a bit of relief for you, and then you're exercising your pelvic floor. Um, I think that is it. Um, if you can think of any other questions, do let me know. But um, once again, thank you very much. Make sure by the time your Kegel kit arrives, you've downloaded all your downloads, printed off the first three, saved your ebook which is 22, 23 pages um, big. So save that to your computer or your phone. Read through that if you can, um, because that's got a lot of amazing information all about your pelvic floor, its function, what prolapses are, how they happen, etc. cetera. Um, yes, yeah, so that's it from me. And I hope this makes um, the journey going forward a lot easier and you're not overthinking it. So very simple, sterilize them, Follow the program and best of luck. And please do keep me updated on your results and progress because I love it. And every time a woman tells me she's improved, leak free, pad free, I literally do a little dance. So thank you very much again and take care. Bye.